Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I'm back with a sexual tarot read. This is going to be what's, who is coming towards us sexual tarot special for the next three months. We're going to just see who or what is coming towards us, what we need to look out for in sexual tarot, guys. So, once again, hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all want to book a sexual tarot read, feel free to send me an email or you can book on my website, okay? So, let's just get to it here. This is going to be for my new De Decameron Tarot deck straight from Spain. I'm just going to freestyle this, guys. I ain't had nothing set up. We're going to see, Holy Spirit, who is coming towards the collective for the next three months. What can we expect? Who is coming towards the collective for the next three months? I'm going to pull this deck. I'll pull some original cards. We'll close it out with some oracles this time. All right, so let's take, let's see. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So Seven of Wands, whoever's coming towards you, they're definitely not, they don't want you to resist with the Seven of Wands. Talks about blocking a situation also talks about being very guarded so whoever coming towards you they're not going to be guarded this time they don't want you to be guarded as well they want to keep you, they want to shut you up for sure this time they don't want you to be guarded okay six of pentacles this is in reverse Okay, now for some of y'all with Six of Pentacles in reverse, that's an unbalanced situation. They could not be guarded because they may not have no money. Okay, so they may not come very guarded and resisting. Um, they may want you to drop your guards. Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles? Okay, let me just get it all out, guys. Alright, we got the Five of Swords. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got the Queen of Swords. I'm just going to get it all out. And we got the Death card here. What's the overall energy? What's the overall energy? We fell over the evil eye. Overall energy is the four of cups. So overall, you may reject this person, whoever coming towards you. Or they could feel rejected from you. Bottom of the deck, we got the fool card. Because they're going to feel like a fool if you reject them. Okay, so. Looking at the spread, who's coming towards you? I feel like you're in the queen of swords energy. Now the queen of swords is like come with the truth or I'm going to cut you. 3, 3, 3 on the clock. So, you definitely got your guards up. You got your person blocked. They could have been trying to suck from you. Energy, breast disease, time, money. And I feel like you're, you're going to be very guarded. Whoever's coming towards you. Now, this could be a woman, a female Aquarius here. Alright, so let's just clarify. What's the seven of, of wands, Spirit? What's the seven of wands? The moon. So they're going to be definitely hiding something here. I feel like you may be very guarded. Maybe you were guarded at one point in time and they don't want you to be guarded anymore. They want you to let down your guard. But with the moon here, you're going to follow your intuition. What's with the seven of wands? Okay, the will. Okay, so for some of you, your person, whoever this person is, they may come back and follow their intuition because they know you're the destiny. Some of this is twin flame soulmates, of course. 
some of this this person just feel like they want to make a change they want to change your mind okay and they don't want you to be guarded but they they're gonna be hiding something what's the moon the temperance so the temperance in the reverse oh let me show you the cards sorry so we got the star because i'm clarifying what's the moon what they're hiding so they wishing to heal things but the temperance in the reverse i feel like they may not be healed Healing means they could be sick with an actual disease here. Or healing means that they actually want to heal things with you. Because they know what the moon also talks about and knowing. They know you are the destined person here with the fortune. But they could have blocked you. They don't want you to block them no more. They wishing to heal things with you. Some of y'all could be celebrities. They could just view. Yeah, that's the truth, Spirit saying. Yeah, so they view you as the star vagina. <laughs> they know that they got to come with the truth, but they want to hide that they're sick with the temperance in reverse. Yeah, four swords. Talks about healing, talks about thinking. We got three healing cards on the board. They definitely want to heal things with you. Yeah, they want a relationship, whoever this is. They definitely, okay. They want a relationship, so they want to heal things. They know that. Yeah, this could be your twin or your soulmate or just someone that's jumping in that car. You heard that car noise. They want to jump in the car and come towards you. Okay, because you're their happiness. Okay, you're their ha happiness. Something definitely... They want to reveal that they want a relationship with you. Some of y'all, they may drive by your house. Some of y'all, you may be long distance. Some of y'all could be pregnant by your person. Some of y'all, this is... You could be a mother. You may have other children. They may view you as the mother of their child. Okay. Somebody also lied and said that they were pregnant. This could have been a past person and it's stuck on my let go crystal. So they could have let this person go. This previous person lied and said they were pregnant and it got revealed here. So that's why they may come back to you. You could have told that person like, hey, this person is not pregnant. And they didn't believe you and they cut you off. Only to get it revealed that this person lied. And now they're going to come back with their head down and they're sorry and they don't want you to block them. That's what they're going to be hiding at the fact that you told them about this person having a fake pregnancy and you told the truth. And they don't want to come back and, and tell you that. I never noticed this sword. Do you see the, the top part of that sword? That's... Yeah, that's what the moon is. They're hiding the truth of the fact of the matter is you were a star and you told them that this person was not healed. This person lied about being pregnant. They could have married somebody. This person had a lot of threesomes, was cheating around, and you told them about their person that they was with. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, they ain't got no money. You left them out in the cold. And now they want to come back with their tail between their legs, basically, because they know you told the truth. Now, with the Six of Pentacles, that's not balance. We had the temperance in the reverse. They could be not healed as of yet. They may try to come back and lie to you. What's the Six of Pentacles? Five of Wands. The hermit. So right now, 
I feel like you may be mad and still holding back with this person. Queen of Wands. They do view you as very beautiful. They could feel like it's competition. You are some type of celebrity here. They may not got no money, so they feel like it's some type of competition here. They're going to have to fight niggas off you or men off you. Yeah, Seven of Cups. They feel like you got a lot of options because you're very beautiful and they're going to have to fight to get you back. What's the hermit? They could be fighting the whole back from you because you're so beautiful. I feel like right here they just like they want to take that shirt. You want to pull them clothes off of you. Here's another garment that this person is grabbing them with this woman. So it's like, they want to grab your clothes off of you, but they're going to have to fight that. <laughs> because they know they were unfair to you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And also they feel like they have a lot of lovers. They could... You know, they could have paid a lot of money to a lot of lovers. I didn't know nobody was watching in the background. So they feel like they're going to have to see you with a whole bunch of lovers and competition. And they're mad about that. Because they know they love you. And it's like, dang, now I got to watch her be with a whole nother relationship. I don't like that. They don't like that. That's what they're thinking about. And you could be holding back and beautiful. Yeah, you were like, you knew to walk away from this person because of all the lovers this person had. And now they're just watching you. They play my games. So, with their wand... With this relationship, some of y'all were in a relationship with this person. Some of you, this person just was in a whole nother relationship and they had a lot of secrets. They lied to you, they lied to the other person. This could have been their karmic who got pregnant by somebody else and lied. Yeah, and it was revealed that this person had a whole new penis. She played mind games. It was a whole nother relationship that she got pregnant in here. This queen of swords, it could have been a queen of swords. Or you're in this energy because you know this person. You revealed, spirit revealed to you that this person had a whole nother relationship. Five of swords talk about defeat, playing mind games. You could have secretly walked away, being a high priestess, knowing what this person was doing. You just walked away. This person had a lot of options, a lot of lovers. Very unbalanced here. Could have been the queen of wands they were with. Spirit said they was a fool, taking leaps without thinking. Kept, on, kept you waiting here. So that's the overall energy. You may reject this person. Even if they do come back. You, you're going to cut their ass out. You got a queen of swords and a death card. To me right away, that means you're going to cut the bitch off. Period. Not trying to be funny, but that's what I see. What's the queen of swords death card? It's an ending. You're going to end this shit. You're going to bury this shit. King of Wands. Yeah, because he was a player. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This person didn't hold back. They didn't hold back. King of Swords. So we got the King and Queen of Swords. So we're definitely talking about a spiritual partnership for some of you. Yeah, they juggle their wish. They juggle their wish by playing with other cups here. Now, others of you, this could be the masculine who is taking action to cut this person off. 
because this person had a whole he was the actual third party by Aries Leo Sagittarius here and he could have married this person this person got pregnant by somebody else okay and he could have cut that's this tower moment and he could have cut this third party off and now he want to come back to you and he don't want you to be guarded okay but yeah the devil he could be obsessing now what's the devil queen of pentacles just your miss okay so it could have been a wife that was doing some type of spell work had spell work over him to keep him in the juggling energy here to keep this person she could have been doing love spells meanwhile she had a whole nother relationship with someone like king of wands a leo others of you I have to say this queen of swords might pass away because of this person being very sexual here had a lot of lovers not using protection playing with magic and it backfired and this person just deciding to stay in this relationship and you're gonna have a new beginning you're going to reject this person because this person is sick. We have the temperance in the reverse. And we have the six of pentacles in reverse. We have the four swords. I just noticed it looked like it was it's some, some growth by her pussy or something. It doesn't look like food, but it looked like... Yeah, the wife could have come disease. I don't know. Let's see what the cards say. What's the four cups for the overall energy? Yeah, the world. I can't make it up ending. What goes around comes around. Two of wands. You're going to make a decision to end the shit. Three of wands in reverse. To let go the third party. Not wait no longer. This person may come back trying to ask you to wait. To wait until he get a divorce or until she get a divorce. You're not going to wait, though. Yeah, they find you sexy. Could be a mother here. All right, who's coming towards the collective from now until the next three months? So the next three months, you may have a person that's going to come back. For some of you, they don't want you guarded. They may not be guarded. They're going to be hiding the fact that you were right about uh, the person not being their baby. The person that they were with was very sexual, had a lot of lovers, had two, two dudes, two third parties that they was messing with. Yeah, look at here. Can't have sex with the karmic no more because they're sick. Karmic could be sick with a disease. She got some growth on her, her vagina. I've seen that. You hear that. You hear that. You hear that. So they're in hermit mode. They could be trying to heal. But they hide the fact that they ain't healed. Temperance was in the reverse. That's healing energy. Star. They're wishing to heal things, but they're not healed. They could be trying to look up remedies or trying to get themselves together, child. And they're going to be hiding that, trying to come back to you. And you're going to sense that, High Priestess, because you know. And you're going to stay in your Queen of Swords energy. And you're going to reject this person. That's what I see. All right, give me some more. Who and what is coming to it? Yeah, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're psychic. Empath. You're going to have an intuition to lead this person along. You're not going to take a leap with this person. We have to over our energy was the four of cups. Spirit is saying to reject this person. Okay, give me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this reading. Let me see if I was right. Can I get some messages for who's coming towards the collective? And why? So the reason why they're coming towards you, they could be trying to ask you to wait till they get a divorce or wait to... 
to get rid of this person, but they seem like you're not going to wait. You're going to choose to be by yourself. Also, this person is very bored wherever they're at. And they want to come back to you, but they know they rejected you. So some of y'all, they all they doing is just watching and holding they, they thing thing because they under judgment. And they gonna watch you move on and be happy with someone else. Others of you, this person don't want you guarded. You know, they do have deep emotions for you. But like I said, we had the five of swords upright. If it was all in reverse, sneaky energy, then I could say, all right, yeah, this person, you know, is trying to be fair. But all the sneaky energy is still upright. Look at here. What did I say? It's a husband. Somebody was married. Could be a married wife that they were with. They married the wife. So they're going to try to ask you to wait on them when they get a divorce. And you're not going to wait. You're going to reject this person. Any, any more messages? 2112 as I looked at the clock. Of who coming towards the collective for the next three months. Yeah, you're saying the D only got to be for me. D only got to be for me with this husband, which is for everybody, it seemed like. Or maybe this person had him under some type of magic. We had the magician. They were tricksters. They, they're tricksters now. Yeah, what I say, they want you to have your guard down. They don't want you to say no. They want you to say yes. Because you're sexy and beautiful. Spirit is saying, follow your gut, not your butt, which we had the high priestess. I said, you a psychic. They want that honey love. They want to come give it to you. They just, they do love you, though. They do got the love, Jones. But they rejected it and married somebody that was a hoe. I want to sex you up. Yeah, trying to sex up the neighborhood. Spirit say they, they need to surrender to that ego. They didn't surrender to the ego. And now they want to come sex you up. Suck on you after getting played here. Okay, this person could it could be a homosexual relationship. Also, this person could have been doing dibbling with men too. It was a fetish, spirit saying. Like I said, they was under some type of sex magic or magic, black magic, voodoo hexes. This wife had them under. So yeah, they were doing. His and his. Hers and hers. Animals and everything. Spirit is saying they want they want to give you the universal love making, guys. It's all up to you to take this person back. Because as you see, we have the four cups of the overall energy. They want to hold on to that D and P. Because, see, they know you're leaving. So now they're going to come back on their knees saying that they want you. 23-23 on the clock. They say they got a lot of bad bitches, but not the baddest bitch. You heard that. They gonna come in their car or motorcycle. Some of them got motorcycles. Teabag my balls. Yeah, they want you to put they. They want you to put they D. You know, put, you know. <laughs> stand by me. So they want you to stand by them. Like I said, a lot of them got legal issues. They need money. So they want you to stand by them while they go through all this. Meanwhile, they never stood by you at all. Could be a his and his couple I'm talking to. But they still sleeping with their ex karmics. <coughs> So that is a confirmation. Yeah, I want to drive back what I say. And the car just sounded off and I just sneezed. Some of y'all, they going to drive back now. They want to suck on your breasts. You got some nice moves because they know it's true sex. They want that missionary. They want to look in your eyes. They truly love you. We got the chariot right here. That's the car. They going to drive by now. We keep hearing the car sound. 
they are holding on really tight to you. They do. They realize you're the destiny, and then they mess. They went with the wrong one. Somebody husband is messing with another male. Okay, and the male do not like the fact that they are the side person. I'm picking up. And the male is saying the D got to be for him. So he may be threatening to tell. Okay. Could have been under some sex magic at the time. But now the male want your masculine. And they could be threatening to tell the wife. I got some of that too. So they watching. Trying to make a decision on should they tell the wife about what they've been doing. They may come to your house and tell you now. Can't make it up. Spirit say do it now while you're young and let this person go. Reject these people here. They want you to ride them. Cowboy, cowgirl. You could be bosses, own your own companies, entrepreneurs, so they know that's what they need. Some of y'all may get some new people saying what's your name, trying to holler at you. But spirit say a spiritual partnership is what you need. You don't need nothing that's mundane. This person got a lot of sideline hoes, okay? Doing a lot of sideline ho shit, spirit is saying. But they yet thinking about you. They want to lock you down so you could be stuck so you don't have to. I told you, somebody is mad because they feel like it's competition. Okay? Because they watching you now. They watching you. And they feel like it's competition and they getting mad about it because you're beautiful. Okay? And they want you to ride them on top. Anywhere, anytime, any place. And they coming for you when I say they coming for you now. They coming in the next three months. So let me know who pop up at y'all door. Trying to stroke it. Because they really do need you. They are so horny for you. They want to put the wax on you for some of y'all. Same cards. New D energy. So some of y'all getting some new D. Spirit say, try the new D energy. Don't go back to these people here. Some of y'all are strippers. I like that stripper move. Well, y'all used to be strippers back in your day. They want some foreplay. Yeah, they going crazy over you. They just watching you, spying on you. They want to ride by your house. They could be going back and forth by your house. Meanwhile, they in a commitment with somebody else. Look how they looking. They look bored. That's what I said. They look very bored. But they get nervous around you, Divine Feminine. They don't know what to do. They is whipped. They whipped up. And they, they, they're mentally mind-fucking their mind when they're watching you because they want to be in you and you are blocking them you're not you know yeah they, well, they want you to suck on it because you got that big p energy that tight watch and they got a very high sex drive some of y'all may have a high sex drive too and you got good p and they want it yeah what i say man you're a good woman and they know that and they get real horny. They know you got a high sex drive. They love that about you. They do too. And it's healing. Your sex drive is healing. And Spirit is saying, those of you that is not taking your person back, go ahead and explore your options. It's okay. Okay. You got good curves. Okay, you like bath time sex play, they do. Some of y'all may get asked to get married now. Because you don't compare to none of these hoes now. Just be careful that it ain't because of money or their own personal agenda. I will say that. Because we do got the King of Cups on the board. They do love you. We have the Two of Cups. They are burning and yearning for you. 
okay they know it's destiny some of them are following their intuition about it you know but just use your you're the high priestess you know use your discernment because again we got magic upright so if this was in reverse i would say maybe they're not trying to be tricksters and we got the devil on the board upright so to me that's trickster that's black magic trickster energy sex magic they want to come try to you know that's why spirit is saying just in that shit okay because they cut it study plan in that match some of you your person cut the, the the bitch off that was a fake ass high priestess secrets out about her everything got revealed and they ended it and they will come back to you so it's up to you if you want to deal with that person all right so we're gonna close it out with some oracle cards for my fuck it deck let's just see what spirits say let's get some advice for you guys for the up and coming people that's gonna expect people coming back around let's see what spirit says spirit what advice you want to give the collective for the people that will be showing up in the next three months okay what advice do you give the collective Show me what I need to see. One more. Thank you. Woo! Bottom of the deck say desires for twisted sex and fun affectionate games can take a shitty love life and make it fucking awesome. But it came out in reverse, so... I feel like this person, mm, let's see what Spirit is saying. That to me seems like Spirit is saying, don't have no desires to play no twisted fucking games with this person. But let's see what Spirit is saying. Okay, first one is, keep the happy shit moments alive by doing small act of kindness every day. So for some of y'all, y'all are in relationships. And Spirit is saying they're going to come back. Maybe y'all broke up and, you know, he's trying to come back in. Spirit saying keep the happy shit moments alive. Do small acts of kindness. This could be the divine masculine, too, that needs to step their game up. Spirit say shut the fucking door. Actions speak louder than words. Take positive action is the best way to find and grow true love. So... Spirit say, don't talk about it, be about it. Shut the fuck up on that talking. You ain't showing no action because we have the temperance in reverse. So my thing is, yeah, they may not come back guarded, but they haven't done no actions to heal themselves. Okay, and then the next one says, be patient, you silly fucker. Love, excuse me, love takes time. You wouldn't rush a good shit, right? Okay, so also this person needs to be patient. You need to be patient and understand love takes time. So maybe y'all are rushing the process. The Spirit is saying be patient. You'll find the one that you're looking for. You don't have to be accepting these people that's on some other shit. Now, again, every situation is different. 3333, three, 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 as I said that. Yes, you can work through shitty challenges. The ugly outhouse still gets the job done. Okay, so you may, some of y'all will be taking your person back. You're going to work through the challenges. Okay, but you got to understand, you got to keep the happy shit moments alive by doing small acts of kindness. Others of you, make this person show you they love you. Don't just take them back based on words. And the last card that I always say, just be yourself. And if they don't like it, tell them bye-bye, dumbass. See you later. See you later. Alright. Yeah. Choose a new direction, Spirit is saying. You guys don't have to stick with these people that is not going to treat you right. And Spirit is saying some of y'all are getting secret love interests. Within the next three months, you're going to choose a new direction. So you're going to get new, new. Yeah. Divine Feminine. You're going to get a new love interest. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
okay? Because you're going to have that face down ass up. Okay? Because somebody with a loose pussy karmic, they, it's sad over there, guys. It's sad. Okay? You're going to have a vacation sex getaway with somebody new. It says it right here. Can't make it up. And these karmics just going to study be sleeping with animals. Getting tied up. And they still ain't going to be pleased, spirit is saying. They just trying to exchange some type of sexual energy. They're going to be still sleeping with the community. Still putting love spells on people. And it's wearing your divine masculine down. But yet, he chooses to sit there. So, hey, what can you do? Alright guys, I hope these messages helped. Alright, let's just pull a few more. What else here with this situation here for the collective? Because I feel like those was more relationship tip cards. Yeah, marriage is coming up for a topic. Like I said, we have Will You Marry Me. Some of y'all getting married or you're going to be asked to get married. Spirit is saying... Kiss and makeup mistakes happen. So I feel like, like I say, this person, whoever coming back, y'all been together or y'all will get back together. This person is not going to be guarded and they don't want you guarded because they may ask you to marry you, them. But like I say, just keep in mind it's not motives behind it. But Spirit say, open your heart to the highest expression of love. You cute little shit. So some of y'all will be getting new. New. But your person do want you. Others of you will be getting new people in your life. You're going to be doing some late night love making. Spirit saying. You're going to be doing that missionary sex. Looking into each other's eyes. Okay. And others of you. You got to realize that the divine masculine. Is never going to come back man. You're going to get something new. That's why Spirit is saying, opening your heart to the highest expression of love, okay? And be yourself. If they don't like it, say bye-bye. Others of you, you gonna, marriage is going to be a topic. They may try to ask for your forgiveness, okay? Spirit say, you're going to work through the shitty challenges. If you take this person back, it's definitely going to be some challenges. And others of you, you can't rush love. You got to know it takes time. You put action and work into it. It ain't going to fall into your lap. It takes two to tangle. Okay? And two to fuck it up. Tangle is more fun. Alright, so... That has been your reading, guys. I just want to do a little who coming towards you or... Why? What they coming towards? Some of y'all, your women gonna come back. They don't say they want you after being out there. Divine masculine. Divine feminine. They gonna be on their knees. They may be asking you to marry them. They gonna wanna lock you down. Cause you a sexy mama. Can't make it up. What's the next one out? Alright. Yeah, Divine Feminine. You a savage in bed. So you're going to have a masculine so that's going to or feminine, you know, take your pick. That's going to come back and surrender to you. Okay. Others of you, the sex magic backfired on your masculine. So they just went buck wild and got with these karmics and they ain't never coming back. So you're going to get somebody new just going and yeah, can't make it up, man. Go on and get you some new D energy. Okay? You may meet your husband. Maybe somebody new. Okay? So take y'all pick on the scenario. Once again, if y'all want something more accurate, please book a reading and then you'll get something more accurate. Okay? This is a collective. So that's how I read. I read for everybody. A little bit of something for everybody. Okay? I'm not just going to put one thing in a box. And say that's what it is. Because God, again, is all things are possible with God. You don't ever want to put God in one box. 
unless it's confirmed and as you can see a lot of stuff I said previous before we even pulled these cards were confirmed so you know I'm the real deal and I'm not over here just making up the stories all right, so once again, what goes around comes around. Deja vu, tarot, peace.